Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are going to continue with the WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch and this is our part 19 of this video session series. In this video session, we are going to learn about the form submission to server by using add action, wpajax action hook and our custom function. In this video session, we are going to also validate our form data before submitting to server means we are going to use validate function in last video session we actually had seen the user validate method in our previous video session so guys if you are a beginner from this video session then i strongly recommend you to watch my previous video series before making continuation with this because after watching those videos i think you get the much more clear concept about custom plugin development in wordpress so to make a form submission to server just we need to make a custom form to our page and uh, just open admin status panel click on admin admin and this is the guys that this is the tab that we have made in our custom plugin click on all pages and this is the form that we need to submit to the server after get validating means after getting proper validation means if it's okay all validation rules were passes then we get submit to server okay guys then this is the form of as the code as we can see suppose this id form id is fim post other page these are the variables and just we need to submit this form to server so if you watched my previous video session then i told you that about the use of wphx action name and the custom function in last video session we have used this in some detail okay guys so i remind you so before using this function just go to the documentation section of wphx then you find a good documentation here which has been made by wordpress developers so to use WP Ajax and this is our custom action and this is the function which actually defined here. So these are the proper way to use WP Ajax. So by submitting form, we are going to see the use of WP Ajax. So, so this is the form that we need to submit actually to the server. So just copy of the ID of this form. Go to script.js. Let me remove this code and to use the validate method just you need to check query here is the form id and dot validate method validate ok guys and this is here submit handler function and this is how we use validation method method so the log form passes okay this is the console message we are going to see and uh, here is required required okay guys so now we are going to submit this form with proper form validation just control us to save click on refresh now click on submit so you get the error messages because these two fields are required we have made so far with this form because you can see this is required field so validation, validation method actually has given some error so we want this is in red color because these are error messages okay so to make in red color just go to CSS section inspect element okay this is label error class so in this form under this form copy the ID of this form just paste it here it's a label and under this label this is the class error copy of that class and we want color to be red here okay control is to save and control f5 to refresh just click on submit so if we can see now our form has submitted successfully means form validated successfully now we need to pass into the server after getting the value okay guys so for now if suppose we fill the value into it let's inspect that make console click on that 
so if we suppose pass with some value for now so click on submit so form passes now actually form has passed all its validation through okay so we want at this situation we want to meet a request to the server okay jquery post method hx url and here is the parameter we need to pass its function okay guys semicolon and under this function actually we got the response from server so just console this message to server okay and here is the parameter that we need to pass and the first parameter should be action as you go to the documentation section then you can see parameters like action data and here is it form data and action what the custom action you want to make suppose I want it to be custom ejects request okay guys and here is something data should be something like name it's online with data author Sanjay Mar. So now we are just going to make our Ajax request to server by passing through three parameters. First one is action, which is just necessary as you know, and these two parameters that we take this value to the server and pass it to its console by response. Okay, guys. So just make a copy of this action, go to your WP custom plugin. Here is our custom hx request from js file for now add action and here is wp hx underscore and here is the action name so wp hx request req is the custom name action name as you can see we have passed and the second parameter should be the function name so just we want to make like custom hx req function okay this is the name of function just copy that and here it's our function function you okay guys and now we are just wp die just we need to include and here is the message so for now we just print all the parameters we actually we got from javascript page so print r or qst and here is the parameter actually we get from server name author and these all parameters we are going to return as the console value okay just click on refresh control f5 And if you click the submit button form validation actually works and now click on flowers and cake and for now it's in value so we submit so gmail.com to submit so just go to network section as you can see here is the response we get actually from server okay guys so just click on network section as you can see in the last admin ajax.php here is the request as you can see to the server it's ajax url is status goes is 200 okay and here is the response as you can see we have actually passed three parameters from our javascript action beam and author these all values actually we have passed from javascript to server and server has responded to this value by print our method okay so if we want we pass like echo json encode something like request and click on save just click on refresh go to console here so here is the values as you can see in json budget form which the server actually responded okay so in this condition guys we want to access some value suppose like we want the name value to be appear in console only not all json values so to take the value of name from json values means it returns a json value so we want only the name and action name and author these are the properties of this json object okay guys so just we need to pass 
where data is jQuery dot parse JSON and here is the response okay we are not getting suppose now okay and just we want the value of name here console log and here is name something like plus to calculate the value data plus name okay plus to save and just click control f5 here is the name guys online web tutorial we have actually accessed this value from there because we want only the name value okay so this is the way but actually you can see guys this is the static value we have passed so far but we need to pass the dynamic values which we get from this form okay guys so we are going to actually pass this form to server dynamically not in the static way that we have written so far just omit this value Okay, where post data and just copy of that, paste it here and click on sterilize method. We are going to sterilize the values, okay, guys. And just with this value, we need to add our action name, okay? So, action name, which what we have passed. Custom Ajax request, click on that, copy and paste it here. So, this is the action name, okay, guys, and this is the form data we have passed dynamically. Click on post data and here pasting that. So, we have done now. So, just remove all this, console.log, and here is the response which we get from server. So, just click on control F5. Here is the name and here is an ID. Click on submit. So, this is the guys. Anything Sanjay Kumar. This is email address and this is our action name. So, this is a request, guys, as you as we get from server. So, in this condition, if you want to take the name and email from this JSON object, then simply the data it's jQuery. Parse JSON. Parse JSON method is a jQuery method, guys. If you go to find your jQuery documentation, then you get a good documentation about parse JSON method. This basically converts a JSON object into its value. Okay, and here is the response. It's a JSON object. And if you want to name and email address, let's consult log. And here's the post name we want for now. So is it uh, slash what's the name of property? Click on that, and here is the database name and its email address will be something like this: dot data dot txt email and paste it here. So control S to save and just control F five. something like flowers and cake and here is what we got so this is the value guys as we take from our server's request response sorry so this is guys as we have seen that we have submitted our form this is the form that we have submitted so far this is our console masses with red color and how we actually access this form with a proper validation validate method which actually validates our form submit handler this method fires when the form passes its validation methods and by the help of this by the help of serialize method we just get the values from form and this is the action parameter and this is the important parameter guys if you keep in your mind and this parameter actually attached with the phx and this is the function call where we return the value from server Okay. and uh, this is the simple jquery method post where we have sent some parameters to server to make our ajax call okay guys i think by the help of this tutorial i have made much more clear concept of our form submission to server while validating to our form by the with ajax so steps that you have to follow to make Request 
so if we want to talk about the form validation then form validation method is you should use a validate method okay just you need to post method of jquery you have to use like hx url and action parameters is compulsory action parameter is compulsory needed to make complete request okay and also to make form submission you need to use this function as a serialized method and in the last video session we have discussed about this method serialized method okay guys so just you have to use serialized method to actually submit the form data and finally to use like add action and here is something WP Ajax and here is custom functioning that you have made custom action name and here is nothing but it's a function name and here you need to finally define your function name okay guys function name and here it's your value return value to user and here is wp type okay guys so this is the way that we have to follow to make a complete ajax request with a proper form validation okay guys so i think by this help of this tutorial i have made much more clear concept about form submission with proper validation and also ajax request by using wp ajax yeah, guys the, so i hope uh, by the help of this custom development plugin series i have given two different ways to make ajax request to server so according to your need you can use your own ajax request in pl plugin development theme development and name so guys and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please go to online web tutor and subscribe here by clicking on the create this button and after clicking on this button you get all notification about our latest videos which i upload in this video series and here you can get all custom development wordpress series okay guys so i hope we will meet in next video session so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day